Hello, um, my name is Joanna Jockin. I'm your instructor for Math 108 this semester. Let me see. Oh, this is a picture of me. Um, and that's my kid there, although this was a couple years ago. So, um, but that, um, this is just meant to be like a brief introduction to kind of talk you through the syllabus, um, give you an orientation around Blackboard, and um, let you know kind of how the course works. So if you go, you probably don't have as many, well, it, maybe you do have as many courses as I do, but um, so you go here and you should now see, I'm going to open up your course after I create this, so you can click here. And I am going to turn this off, editing off, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So the landing page looks kind of like this, a welcome message. and. Um, this is the link for start here. So this will show up the first week of class. So you kind of need to just go through these things, like click, you can read this, a little background about me, kind of look for the link for the syllabus. We'll talk about that in a second. Check to make sure your tech, honestly, there's not, <laughs> I hardly have any problems with technology. Um, in this course, so um, if you do have problems, let me know, but almost all the videos are on YouTube, which tends to be pretty robust. Um, a little bit of advice for me about kind of how to do well. We use my math lab. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, but there's some instructions on how to sign up and a brief introduction to my math lab. So I won't go through that in depth here um, because that information is in this link. And then there's a little syllabus quiz um, just to highlight kind of some of the important things for you. So take the syllabus quiz. It's not that hard. It's like, when are the exams? Um, and then get kind of a free good quiz grade. OK, so you will find the link for the syllabus over here in this left there. So there's a left um, navigation panel here on Blackboard um, in case you haven't like your professors haven't used it extensively before. And there sh you should see, I'm going to update this for our spring 2017 syllabus, and you'll see an updated introduction video. These are both from last semester. Um, so, but let me talk you through the syllabus. So if you want to pause and like open those up or um, print them out or whatever so that you can find them, I encourage you to kind of save a copy of that on your hard drive, even if you just want to electronic copy so that you can kind of pull it up whenever you have questions. Um, it's a great place to kind of go back and, and remember what um, policies are. So my name is Joanna Jockin. I have an office in Exploratory Hall, room 4403. Um, how to contact me. For most questions in this class, like 95% of the questions, you should use the discussion board. So anything about like what's happening on, you know, uh, when is exam one? Where is it? Um, that's all going to be posted. But if you have questions about that, it's in the discussion board. Questions about math questions, I can type pretty well in the discussion board. And in email, it's just really limited. If you have private questions, like you don't understand your grade, um, or you have other things that kind of only affect you, um, for example, like let's say you were sick for four or five days and you needed, I mean, four or five weeks and, and you need to talk about kind of what that meant in this class, then, then that would be kind of something to send me over email. Okay. Um, I put the GMU emergency closing info, but um, I'm sure you guys are all also hooked up. They send out alerts, but honestly, hardly anything affects this class unless the university closes on exam dates. Um, because exams are proctored at the university. I have office hours on Monday and Wednesday afternoon this semester, 1.30 to 2.30 and 1.30 to 3.30, but I'm going to add this and also by appointment. So if you can't make these, I understand that many of you are working full-time jobs and can't get to campus during this time. I'm happy to set up appointments with you. Um, it just we should set that around your schedule and I don't have kind of normal set office hours where I meet with students at night or early in the morning, but I'm happy to do that. Um, if you're in this class, you probably met the prerequisites, either the math placement test or the math 008 problem um, program. Um, and this is an applied calculus course with applications towards business and econ. 
Um, so we really try to kind of improve algebra, figure out derivatives, um, and figure out applications. Um, so we do that. We have a book for the course, but I actually suggest you buy this access code only. Um, it gives you a copy of the ebook. I'm sure many of you are just going to resell. Um, please, I, I don't know how the bookstore works. If you need an access code for my math lab, it's 15% of your grade to do that work. And I don't think they come with used books. I might be wrong about that. So just be careful. I think if you buy a book at the bookstore new, it's 142 last time I checked for the book plus a code, or you can get the code only um, through my math up for about 100 bucks. Okay. Um, I do post videos and things on YouTube, so you need to be able to watch those in this course. Um, you also, I send announcements um, to your GMU email account, so you should check that. And all video lectures are posted on YouTube. Um, the other thing is that we have three exams in this class, including the final. So two exams during the main part of the semester and then the final exam. You have to come to campus if, in order to take those exams. If you live far enough away from campus, um, usually um, I make that kind of determination. You can find an alternate proctoring facility, but I have to approve the proctoring facility. Um, so you can email me or post a question on the discussion board if you have questions about that and if you're in that position. Um, the class is pretty straightforward. We have uh, two tests in a final, like I just said. Then every week you have, um, in non-test weeks, you have a My Math Lab to do, and then you have a written assignment to do because the exams are half in My Math Lab and half written. So we just do work on a regular basis to prepare you for both of those parts of the exams. So, um, so that's what it is. Um, I use a normal grade breakdown. Plus and minus are not based on solid grades, but I just look at the distribution. Um, here you we use my math lab. Um, I have posted information about how to sign up. Um, here is the technical information for my math lab. So he, this is pretty important if you run into trouble. Um, my math lab quizzes are due Saturday at 11.59 p.m. So I do a staggered deadline in this class. My math lab is due Saturday night, and then um, the written work is Sunday. So you just kind of have, like, I want you to kind of get through all my math lab and then move on to the written problem, okay? Uh, written work is just a normal kind of, it's one or two questions. They are um, similar to quiz questions that I give in class, so they're, it's not long. They're designed to be done in usually 15 minutes. Um, some of the longer graphing ones are 30 minutes, but like that is it. So it shouldn't take you all day. Um, you turn it in Sunday at 11.59. They're only posted Sunday early morning, so you, you get a kind of 24-hour access to these written works. So the PDF is posted, you can write down the question or you can print it out, solve it, and then um, upload a PDF of your solution. Um, so, and that kind of, there's, expl there's an explanation I'll show you in Blackboard of kind of more detailed information. Um, I grade those, every week those are out of 10 points. You have to submit one PDF file. I don't accept multiple files. Um, it should be professional, so I should be able to read it. It should be right side up, so if it's upside down or sideways, I also don't grade it. Um, all work is handwritten, and so I don't allow typed work. Um, this is to make sure that it's looking like the work that I'll see again on your exams. So I'm trying to kind of pair that. Um, I, also, no computer-generated graphs. You should be hand-drawing graphs all the way through this course. Um, and then correct solution. Solution is clear, and you use sentences to explain what you're doing. Okay? So, and then I grade that, and then I give you feedback in, by Blackboard, and here's some information that I'll remind you of after the first week when you turn it in about how to see your work um, and what you should be seeing in Blackboard. That sometimes, that sometimes is a little bit... Um, glitchy. Sometimes I give a whole bunch of feedback and 
students and it gets erased or something. So, um, but I'll, I'll give you more information after you turn in your first assignment. Extra credit this semester. So this semester I decided to kind of, uh, sometimes students are giving me feedback in kind of just like all over the place ways. So, you know, where they'll email me or um, just tell me kind of at the exam or different stuff about things that need improvement. So this semester I just decided to kind of do a weekly survey every week that I ask you guys to fill out and then figure out what needs to be kind of improved and if I have time I'll try and add those things in real time as the semester is going on. I might not be able to do all of that but um, I will definitely be looking at these um, the feedback that you're giving me every week so you'll see a survey each week um, and uh, it really just asks you like which, you know, to rate each of the videos um, to give me feedback on the written work and anything else that we're doing um, in the class and my math lab. So you get one point um, for each one of these surveys that you fill out towards your um, first or second exam. Um, so like a total of like 15 points will be added um, to one of those two exams um, if you do all of the 15 surveys, okay? Um, surveys do close, so they'll open Monday and close Sunday when the um, when the written work is due. So they have to, and I won't sip, um, accept them late. Okay. Um, in their two term exams, um, the exams are already scheduled, um, and they're in the testing center in Exploratory Hall. Kind of, if you took the placement test, it's the same place. Um, I don't allow collaboration on the exams. There's no graphing calculators allowed in this class. <clears throat> you can use a scientific calculator. Um, so I encourage you to buy a scientific ca calculator now and start practicing because you won't, you don't realize how totally different it is if you have been using a graphing calculator um, for a while. Um, once you start the exam, you have to finish it. There's no breaks in the exams. Um, there is a tutoring center in the Johnson Center room 344. Here are the hours of operation for that. Um, that's a great place. They have a ton of hours and are open a lot. If you like to kind of just go sit and have, like ask questions. Here's academic honesty. I want to make it clear, you should be doing all of this work yourself, including my math lab, including the written work assignments, all of it should be your own work. If you're turning in work um, that is a collaboration with anyone else, um, then um, that's a violation of the academic honesty code. Okay. Um, and so, and then you'll see here kind of a brief schedule. So weeks run from Monday to Sunday. Um, here, like you are just supposed to watch the video lecture that I post work problems in the study plan and that like that's in the my math lab video so you have to kind of work problems before you earn the right to take the my math lab quizzes post any questions so my math lab quizzes due saturday by 11 59 p.m written work is open sunday um shortly right after that like early in the morning and then closes that same day at 11 59 p.m so you have a 24-hour window to do this written work okay and then kind of the breakdown let me think. So maybe I'll show you a little bit. So here we are. Most of the videos and things are under this videos, assignments, and more. And so if you click, for example, on unit one, you'll see um, kind of some review material. We do a little bit of review. So I put some of that in, some functions. There's graphing in this. So these are the lessons, and each one of these is a video lecture. Right, so, and there's quite a bit more this first week because we kind of are catching people up to all be on the same page. Um, and some of these you might not need. Here are the instructions for the written work that you might um, take a look at. So here's a quick video about how to turn it in. Here's some more detailed information if you have never created a PDF file before. And then usually, and I'll show you, let me turn this editing mode back on. But you'll see at the bottom here, you'll see a unit one written work. This instructions are the exact same instructions that I give you here. So um, 
but so you'll see and it'll just pop up here here's the unit one written work problem if you click on that link that gives you the problem that you're supposed to work and turn in for me but this will pop open the first Sunday after the course starts okay okay um let me see I don't know if there's anything else I send out emails and those are all sent through this announcement link so if you ever have questions or like deleted an email they're all archived there so you can look here's a link to my math lab there's a link to the discussion board it's a pretty typical discussion board you create a forum um, or like create a thread here and then um, and then kind of I'll answer these questions um, if you want to see everything that's going on in this discussion board I suggest you subscribe so I'm subscribed already but you just click subscribe and then it will send you an email notification when somebody posts um, and solutions are posted here to all the written work and then exams um, I don't know if there's anything else that I would tell you I think that's about it. I try to send out an email about once a week just to give you some quick reminders about things. But um, but so if you have questions, please post them to the discussion board. It should be a great class. Um, and I'm looking forward um, to kind of getting to know some of you through this online course. Okay.